Pode escrever para mim o jeito das marcas. Mas também eu pude ver, veja só. Dr. Daisy reviews her old case notes. The body of an indigenous fisherman was brought to her clinic. De três faixas. On his chest and back were three stripes. Como se fosse um fio elétrico. She said it's almost as if a thick electric cable had been wound round the body. For an eel to wrap around a person three times, it would have to be significantly longer than any electric eel I've seen. Soon after birth, the eels develop electric organs running the length of the body, leaving little room for muscle. They can't wrap or coil around things like a snake can. Could the marks, in fact, be bruising? She says absolutely no doubt about it. This was a burn. It wasn't a bruise. On close inspection, it was almost as if it had been fried or toasted. I don't doubt that the wounds were burns. But everything I've learned about the eel's deadly weapon suggests brief, intense shocks, rather than the sustained power to fry flesh. Dr. Daisy then shows me something I've never seen before. Footage of an electric eel shocking and killing a caiman. I think what's going on here is this guy is actually, he's, he's caught the electric eel on a, on a line, that's the bait. Cayman looking very interested here, almost sort of hypnotized by it. Hey. Bagel. And right, the Cayman grabbed it by the neck. An instant effect, thrashing around, just like somebody grabbing an electric cable. Total paralyzed por, pela descarga elétrica. This creature is completely overpowered. It's a terrifying sight. And if this eel's deadly shocks are capable of penetrating the thick reptilian armor of a caiman for such a long time, I'm left wondering whether the waters of the Amazon could be harboring an electric eel, unlike anything I've seen before. Hey, that's impressive. Its teeth, his body shook violently as he disappeared below the water.